Okay, so I switched out Will since we're not doing Duke stuff right now. Whoa, don't go that way. Bad idea. Um, since we're not in Moonrise. I'm bringing Carla because I'm tired, like I said, and I want my lover to be here. Uh, also, she's just really handy. I don't know. I think I had a Sterian. Yeah, I had a Sterian because of the Orthon, but now, now I don't need to. Guys, I don't think... I was really hoping to finish Act 2 before I went down to Arizona. Because I'm not going to be able to put Baldur's Gate on my laptop. Like, it's a good laptop. It is not good enough to run Baldur's Gate and record at the same time. I don't know if you can hear it, but sort of the bass background noise that is like when I'm not talking... Here. So that last, like, two seconds was me muting my mic. And not having like the background noises going on my now my laptop is like going full tilt like it is it sounds like a jet taking off like it is just on the recording side of things having a hard time let's see so unfortunately i don't think i can play Baldur's gate out in the field so i'm going to be going back to some of my little games probably at least while i'm out there just to play for funsies and that's why i'm trying to record a bunch of Baldur's gate now and i'm hoping to maybe play assassin's creed mirage on the laptop we'll see we'll see how that goes but <laughs> i've also got that little game that i haven't played in ages we'll, uh, what was it it was a, the really cute desert one that i really liked Mel the melancholic sort of no well, not melancholic the i don't even know the word for it right it was a nice game though i i look forward to getting back to that And maybe picking back up Mass Effect again? Who knows? <laughs> I don't know if I could run Mass Effect on my laptop, the Legendary Edition. I kind of think I could, but who knows? But believe me, that one has been haunting me a little bit. The fact that I was like in the middle of a Mass Effect 3 run. Okay, I know we did a lot of exploring down near the Orthon. But there was stuff I hadn't looked at over here. And I don't know. Oh, are you serious? All I had to do was turn left and there would have been a waypoint to the inside of Gauntlet of Shar. Oh my gosh. <laughs> You know what? I will be so mad. Actually, I didn't even think about this. If, you know how I walked up to Moonrise and went left and never went right? I bet you, I secretly, I'm secretly betting. Not secretly, I don't know. I'm, I'm horrified to think that if I had just gone right for a second, I would have found a fast travel point. Oh! <laughs> I wouldn't have to walk all the way here. Or all the way back to Moonrise. <laughs> The moon ran on a supposition. I'm actually dying inside because of this one. <sighs> okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. What is this? The other stuff that looked more gauntlety was elsewhere. Ooh. Oh, there's somebody. wonder if I should be shadow heart for this. Oh, I hear him. Oh, they're they're yellow. So far. Hurry inside, or your racket is liable to. There's a whole lot of other stuff, like going on in the other direction. The donkey scrotum! The quakes herald the shadows! It's already too late. Did I go the wrong way? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I'm not reloading, man. I have I I have reached the end of my reloading limits. 
If this is the end, so be it. Can I have your sword? Like, I wish these duelist guys would tell me Merkel's fat lapdog. Merkel? Oh, are you talking to him? Or that one? Is the god of murder, right? No, that's Ball. Are the other gods getting involved in Shara's broken down shrine? Oh, what? I had a. Oh, well, it's too late. I was like, I have a good armor for her to use. Come on, darling, but uh, I'll have to wait. Yeah, none of your guys' shenanigans. I do want to try this one. I think this would be very cool. Oh, what? That did so much damage in it, but it like broke all the candles, but it didn't break the umbral trimmer. I am mad. And it didn't like do any damage to this guy. I think I don't have the... I, oh, I do have that. Okay, we're going to do that one next time. I hear, yeah, I'm hearing stuff back there, like, there's a ghoul medic back there, I don't know, oh shoot, there's another one back there. Yep, that's a that. Yep. Okay, Shadow Heart, turn off your I'm stuff. To go still. Cause you might hurt the people. Oh, geez. Oh. Moonbeam, moonbeam, what moonbeam. There is much you to also do. turn that off. Still breathing, despite everything. I need a quick word. Are you people gonna talk to me? Head inside now. Okay. Well, is there anything cool to look at, though? What's hiding here? I'm surprised she hasn't said anything. Your daughter. Come closer. Now. Uh, what, what? I'm busy. There is stuff to be looted. I was hoping there'd be words over here. There's this over here. Don't forget. Don't forget me. But first we should... Ooh. Oh! Oh! Oh, hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. That's bald. That is... Oh, sorry, my phone is, like, going off the rails. Um... So he's, like, locked himself... He's locked himself in... I'm trying to remember him off. Uh... Like intent, like willingly, or is he stuck here? Is he like I don't know? We'll see. But like this is this is Catherine Thorne's like right hand man, and I'm like no. Hi. Uh, you are not a pleasant person from what I saw of your other room. Ah, the interlude. Ooh, his face. Oh, one piece as well. Not just any true soul would have succeeded in following my path through this place. You should be pleased. Yeah. Uh. Naturally born? That's a strange thing to hold against someone. Not so. Womb births are such imprecise things. There's always room for improvement when it comes to the flesh. How did you get that voice? My creations are more than a sum of their parts. You know, like, 
it's an echoey voice. Like, how did you get that? Like, that's not a normal human thing. I know who it is. Well, I only know... You're right. I only know who it is because I hovered over him. Who are you? You are a true soul. There is no excuse for you to not recognize your betters. But never mind. Your potential may outweigh your ignorance. I am Balthazar. Chief advisor to General Thor, <laughs> and entrusted with a mission of utmost importance. This is bothering me greatly. Do you know what is at stake here? No, I'm busy looking at. It's actually giving me like insane ABGBs. Like it's not like super grotesque. It's like actually, actually pretty well put together, and like the face isn't like falling apart or anything. It's pretty cleanly cut, but like this is just really spooky. The name Balthazar seems vaguely familiar, but from where? Bonus, guys, help me out. Help me remember, remember my history homework. Yes! It comes back to you. Balthazar headed a monastic order that controlled a place called Amkethran in the deserts of Kalimshan. But he is long dead from what you recall. I mean, he looks dead. He looks pretty dead. Ugh, he's got that runes like card into his skin, not just like the symbols. Uh, something called the Night Song. Your notes were very interesting. Uh, I kind of want to say that. I have both. I have both these options. Because I, I don't remember what he was saying beforehand. Do you know what is at stake here? I'm gonna do this one first. Balthazar, I heard of a monk by that name once. He died a long time ago. Oh, him. Yes, I decided to take his name for myself. After taking his rib bone. <laughs> Suits me better, I think. But enough idle chatter. Keep to the matter at hand. You do know what's at stake here. So the, like, the, like, way he, like, paused. Look at the hands, like, total villain. Like, mm, yes. <laughs> the hands, like, put in front of him like that. Something called the Night Song. Your notes were very interesting. Interesting. And private. Yeah. Give me one reason why I shouldn't have my creations kill you right now. I figured thief. I figured that wouldn't go well, but I'm I'm proud and uh, too clever for my own good. Oh. It's simple, you need me, don't pretend otherwise. Yeah, this one's a bit much right now. I don't get many Oathbreaker options. Holy cow, though, I get advantage. Um, yeah, I just quick saved a second ago. I'll try Persuasion. I feel like that's more in line with her right now. Give me... Oh, wait, no. We'll, we'll just keep using Guidance. Okay. Yes, you need me. Fine. Your usefulness may outweigh your insolence for now. There are much grander things at stake. The Night Song is my finest creation. If I never exceed myself, I will still die happy. Not that I ever intend to do something I was gonna as say. As truly dying. Is he, is he dead or is he alive? Or <laughs> Even your prying nature. <laughs> I have work for you as a scout. The night song lends the general his strength, his invulnerability. Oh no. It must be recovered before his enemies attempt to Oh. <gasps> is it Isabel? It's Isabel, isn't it? <gasps> the night song. Oh my gosh, and that's what he's meaning, because I was thinking, because he's like, oh, I made it myself. And here I'm thinking the Night Song is like like a cloak or something, and then I keep thinking it's something to do with Char. But like, I'm like, I'm like, then he's like, he's like, I made it, and I'm like, well, the only thing this guy makes is corpses, right? Or like undead things. So I'm like trying to, so then I'm like, ooh, the Night Song's probably really gross and nasty and disgusting and blah, 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 blah. But oh my gosh, that's why they tried to kidnap Isabel is because she's the night song he rose her from the dead this guy did balthazar rose her from the dead and like imbued her with like his life or something i 
don't know. That is crazy. Also, it's really weird to think that somebody can get immortality, essentially, by tying themselves to another person and bringing them back from the dead, too. Like, this feels like a, like a loophole thing somehow, somewhere. Um... Sounds like you've good reason to be proud of the night song. Tell me more. And spoil the surprise. It's Isabel, 100%. Not. But let's just <laughs> say that the night song was a unique specimen even before I began my work. Words, even my words, are woefully insufficient. When you see for yourself, you will understand. Do you need me to do I do not need you or your help. But, but we just... But what? you are here in spite of that, so I may as well make use of you. Oh, okay, okay. The night song is close, but the way is barred, and Shah's dead are uncooperative. Clear the path for me by blade, cunning, or whatever it takes. I will remain here until you have succeeded or fallen. I trust this gas bag about as far as I can throw him, which isn't far. <laughs> which isn't far. Perhaps better to play along for now. Shadowheart really is quite pretty. She's actually growing on me a lot, and I think I will have to romance her at some point. You have resources to spare. Ooh, the Orthon. Hmm. Let's see if I can persuade him. Oh, baby, give me something good. Oh, well, now I'm now I'm questioning my Isabel thing. Because if I have to go through the gauntlet of Char, Isabel is up above. She's not down here. Fine. Woo! I will assign what? to aid you on your way. Ring this bell, and he will come. I don't actually want that. Take it back. Take it back. My brother is no intellectual powerhouse. But he is strong, loyal, and punctual. Punctual. Should a fight turn against you, remember the bell. He is your brother? In part, yes. My poor unborn twin. Mother always resented me for it, said I strangled him in the womb. Uh-huh. If you can believe such tripe. Besides... Once I developed my powers, I fetched him from the graveyard and brought him back. Gave him a new, better body. Alas, Mother was not pleased. Yeah, I'll bet. What happened to your mom? We're still close. She's in a jar on the shelf. Over there. Oh, that's good. This guy is super mega creepy. Like, he's very good at it. <laughs> Uh, what exactly are you doing while I'm not risking myself? My creations need tending. Oh, yeah? Like a not garden? Not any of your concern. Uh, oh, he's so this disdainful. This one's broken. He once tormented me as a youth, lifetimes ago. Now he serves me forever. Ugh. No rest for you yet, Mikan. You will serve me. Until I am satisfied. So I am curious, like, is this a soul thing or a body thing? Because you could bring a body back, but are you bringing back that soul or simply another soul? You know what I mean? Like, like if my body was being used to dance around as a corpse puppet, like, I think I'd be a little bit like, oh, bummer. But, like, my soul would hopefully be far away, you know? And, like... That's the way that this works, right? Where it's like, unless you bring these person's soul back, then it's not necessarily the same thing. But I don't. I'm not. I'm not an expert. Despite me being like, "Woo, necromancy is cool," I don't really know how it works <laughs> in the game or in real life. Ha ha ha. <laughs> uh, the Orthon in these ruins, friend or foe? The devil is of no relevance to my goal. Besides, it seems you handled him well enough. I did. I no longer hear that blasted singing. He's got the his. bell still in his hand. Perhaps I will seek out his carcass should I be afforded the opportunity. Surely there are some parts I could put to use. Hey. 
Thanks. Flesh will remain here until Korg. But don't fear. He has very sharp hearing. I chose his ears myself. Now, get to work. Yeah, oh my gosh. It's a flesh golem. Broken moon lantern, dead pixie, gilded chest, heavy chest, Grimishka tail. Am I, am I encumbered from the bell? Oh boy. This is what happens when I don't have my darling wife with me. So, are these guys, were they ri risen by this guy? Is that, and has he been yelling at me through them this whole time? That's what I'm going to assume. I thought maybe they were like a gods. Ooh, yeah. Uh, we did. Whatever it takes. I did want to open these. Let's see what my touch can do. Never mind. Okay, I do want to see. Keep a blade. Close. Yeah, I'm much less sure now that Isabella is the thing. I was so excited. I so I thought I had it. <sighs> and with that, we'll go ahead and cut it off there. Thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate it. This send off is being done from the interior of my vehicle, by the way. So hopefully, there's not too much background noise. But thank you all again for watching. I appreciate it. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons. To all my patrons, including my Acorn Tier patrons. Thank you so much, Fane, for your support. I very much appreciate it. And I want to give an extra special shout out to Reese Galito, my Sapling Tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. I very much appreciate it as well. And I want to give an extra, extra special shout out to Christopher, my Forest Tier patron, who has gone above and beyond in his support of me and the channel. And I truly cannot thank him enough. So... And again, thank you all for watching. I know the uploads have been pretty sporadic lately. I'm hoping to get into a rhythm, but you know, that's just sometimes it happens and sometimes it doesn't. So thank you for putting up with me. I appreciate it a lot. And uh, I'll see you all in the next one.